Oh my god, there's another one. Same guy. Final Fantasy XIV is an easy game. Uh-oh. I feel like he's gonna shit on us again. When I watch his video, it just feels like he knows everything and, and you suck, basically. Greetings, travelers. This game is easy. That's right. You could have never believed it. It's not that hard. I know what you're wondering. What could have possibly set the chairman off this time? Did someone insult Nekopara or something? No, I'm once again constantly reminded why I is separate myself from every gaming community on the planet. Oh, yeah, he did say despite he was the a weeb. fact that this is what I do for a living. Because the only people that have time to say anything ever are the people that are going to constantly complain about literally everything. I'm already the enemy of both the casuals and the optimizers of the Final Fantasy XIV community, so it's time for me to get angry yet again. I've said this in the past, but I barely keep up to date on current events in Final Fantasy XIV. I just live in blissful ignorance, casting Midare Setsugeka like a neat who immerses himself in RP to escape reality. You Wait, want a funny what experiment? What server does Try this guy that play on? I feel like it's NA, but I don't know which server is NA. Job in Final Fantasy XIV is easy, and just watch as everyone who plays that job explains to you that, um, actually, you just don't understand the subtle nuance to, no, you don't understand the subtlety of being indistinguishable from any other keyboard or controller masher. I guess anyone who plays on a DDR pad is probably safe, though. I'm going to make this clear as day. Every single job is easy at a mediocre level. Everything. It should be. It shouldn't be that hard to look at a job and have a basic idea of what you want to do. The only reason why people want their job to be regarded as hard is so they can be like a stereotypical Rick and Morty fan and stroke their cock while measuring their <laughs> IQ. <laughs> Most of the time, I feel like I'm listening to toddlers talk about their toys and which ones are more complicated. <laughs> it's still a fucking kid's toy. No one is doing anything that special. Occasionally, there are little tricks, like using a filler combo on Samurai to line things up, or forcing a Twin Snakes early on Monk to make things line up. Sure, but at a basic level, it's not that hard. A lot of times, you're going to have to look some stuff up to hit the mediocre level, but even then, once you know what you're supposed to do, it's not that bad. Oh, he's you know why I toys insist Aether. on being called mediocre or adequate? Because I don't do anything special. If a fucking turbo casual like myself can do this, fucking anyone can. You want my nuclear take? I think previous expansion summoner was easy as fuck. Literally as easy as anything else in the game. The fact that that is still one of my most controversial opinions is one of the funniest things to me on the planet. The only problem that previous summoner had is that either, it wasn't I... straightforward with what you were supposed to do by looking at the buttons yourself. In my opinion, the skill floor was artificially increased by obfuscating the information and making it hard to figure out what you were supposed to press which was to press everything as soon as possible and then summon Bahamut, and then go back to mashing Ruin 3, which is very different from mashing Gemshine. You also had to alternate between Phoenix and Bahamut every minute, which is very different from how the job plays now. Of course, I will clarify, I am talking about being mediocre. To be a top 0.1% summoner so was probably summoner the hardest job before. to optimize in the entire universe because it involved you taking Bahamut and Phoenix out to a nice dinner and then breaking their kneecaps to try to get them to function properly. You just didn't need to do that in order to be mediocre at the job. It still frustrated the ever-living shit out of me for getting soft punished for pet AI back then, but that's what- Wait, his name is Takenyan Speed. What does that mean? What does Takenyan mean? <laughs> what it took to be the best. But the skill ceiling of a job has nothing to do with it being hard to play. Difficulty should be evaluated by the minimum amount of effort you'd have to put in to hit a decent level where you can do whatever it is that you want to do, or in the case of Final Fantasy XIV, clear the content that you want to clear. The only reason that Summoner is so straightforward now is because they made Dreadworm Trance and Summon Bahamut one button, removed in Kindle, and made all the spells instant cast during Bahamut phase. Now I want you to imagine previous expansion Summoner with these changes alone and tell me that the job would not be the most straightforward thing on the planet.
Once again, if you can clear the hardest content in the game from the expansion by playing at a mediocre level, then it doesn't matter. When I say something is easy, it's like saying yeah. it is easy how to learn I, how the pieces move in chess. That's I feel like you can defeat a savage with like being decent at a job, right? I just I feel like I've ran into some people who like just like no, you have to be like this in order to do a savage and it's like you could still have fun and do it. You don't have to be like absolutely perfect with your rotation or anything. I mean, of course it helps, but you could still do it. Or like you don't even have to have like a meta comp or anything. The problem is people aren't decent. Yeah, you can run into those, but I feel like people like what am I? <laughs> what am I? I don't know where I would categorize myself, but I feel like I've had people say like you gotta be good and stuff and it's like man they make it sound like it's really scary thing and just like intimidating it's not everyone that has made it feel intimidating there's some people I run into and they're like oh yeah it's fun that's like more motivate motivating for me and if someone if you guys like start saying like you know this is this is fun to do it would definitely make more people want to play like savages and stuff I was new to all the extremes and stuff and I had to like constantly beg one person that I know that I'm friends with in the game. I had to beg Jonathan to like play extremes because he was like, no, I really don't want to play it because like people are really toxic, especially around this time, like with a new expansion out. I was like, yeah, I get you. I get you. I get I've experienced some of that already and I'm really new. But then I was like, come on, you can do it with us. And then he did it with us and then he got his freaking weapon. And I was like so happy because I was like, I really hope that it made him realize like, yeah, there are fun groups out there that I can just play with and get through the extreme or a savage with. You have to commit to a time, like a schedule for savage. I think that's like the hardest part, like just committing and learning and doing it again and again and again. Yoshi P and the the devs like they made a really good game that you don't have to be like the best to clear it. like you can still have fun even though they are going to buff a lot of uh, DPS jobs soon it's not necessarily terrible the first savage party to clear they had one melee and they had one black mage right and then some people are saying black mage isn't like isn't the very very best right now but yeah, you could just play whatever you want. We had like two samurais in our extreme, so we didn't get like the party buff or anything, but we still defeated it. I did notice like our limit break came much later. Yeah, it's because we have two samurais. It's not going to be the hard part. Dancer might be easy, but you can still drift standard stepped into the void if you're not paying attention. The real challenge is doing your easy rotation while shit's being flung at you all over the place. At the same time, difficulty can be really hard to quantify because what people find difficult is going to vary from person to person. You might personally find something harder to play and something easier, and then someone else has it the other way around. Maybe, just maybe, you find some things easier or more difficult because of your own brain. In this case, though, <laughs> we're still talking about the difference between easy and easier. Oh my god! I just recently watched The Social Network. It was just like up on Netflix. And I was like, you know what? I've only seen this, seen this movie one time. And it was a long, long time ago in the movies. And uh, Mark Zuckerberg in the movie was talking to his girlfriend. And he's like, yeah, you don't have to study for that exam. And she's like, yeah, I do. What are you talking about? He goes, no, you don't. You go to this school. Like he made her feel like shit and really dumb. And it's like, not everyone is as smart as you, okay? Like don't give someone shit or tell someone like they can't study just because they go to like uh, a different school to you that's like easy for you. But probably everyone has different, like every person's different. Just thought I'd share because it's like what he's explaining now. Yeah, some people might find certain things harder than other people. Everyone learns things at a different pace. And that's especially why when someone comes into my stream and says this and that and that, I mean, it's like, dude, like, you know, everyone starts as beginners. I may know something that I just learned recently and you learned this like two years ago. Or maybe you learned it like you're just amazing. You know, you get a gold sticker because you learned it super, super fast. And then I'm like slow. <laughs> you know, everyone's different. Come on. You want to know what isn't difficult, though? Pressing fleeting Raiju after a right on? Yeah, that's right. 
When you had to press two gap closers after right on, I understood. I knew that people wouldn't like that you couldn't hold it in, like how you can't hold your shit. But now, after these changes, you want to know what this button is? It's a fucking combo action. Which here? Why give stacks if you can't hold it? Uh, it could be because you typically press Raitons back to back in burst windows, so letting you build up multiple Raijus actually makes it less clunky and more forgiving, so that you can still press Raiton and TCJ next to each other and not lose a Raiju. Man, it's almost like the developers wanted it to be convenient. You know, actually, I have a better question for you. What do you want to press instead? Another melee range weapon skill? The only thing I can possibly imagine is pressing throwing dagger because you held a right on but accidentally used it a little too early. If only you could have pressed throwing dagger. This part, I have no idea what the hell he's talking about because it's a ninja. All I know is that Glaze, this one person I know, plays ninja, ninja and he doesn't want to play ninja anymore. Uh, I actually asked him why, what's wrong with it? And he goes, well, you know, you gotta like know like certain combinations of buttons. He goes, example, you do one, two, three, and then you do three, two, one, or two, three, one, and then da, da, da. And then he goes, and you get one of those combinations wrong, then you like, it's all for nothing. And I was like, really? That sounds sad. Dagger first. This has to be one of the easiest things to play around in the entire game I have ever heard of. Yet I see people falling over and crying on the floor and pissing themselves over nothing. Holy shit. I bet you don't even complain that you can't hold Gallows or Gibbet on Reaper. Because if you don't complain about that, that means that you can't even hold your own beliefs consistently. You want to know what else is fun? <laughs> nobody understands numbers. I already knew this because nobody <laughs> likes math. It is funny watching people complain about numbers in this game. Oh, boo-hoo. Reaper does more raid damage than Samurai. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> it's like me. <laughs> but the dev team hates us degenerate wheelboos. Oh, really? How big like is said, the supposed fine. difference it's actually anyways? Not that bad. Do you actually know? I guess I can do a little bit of research. Let's see. It's about 2.4% between Samurai and... Yeah, it's not and that Monk, big, but... which is actually the top RDPS right now, but I bet you didn't even know that. Re Although... Wait, no, I thought it was Reaper Monk Samurai. Is Monk really at the top now? It was like Monk Reaper Sam? Whatever. The, the differences are quite minor. Plus, I'm not perfect Sam, so my numbers are definitely going to drop either way because I'm not amazing at Samurai. I still have a lot to learn. Monk and Reaper's ass cheeks are right next to each other <laughs> on the RDPS toilet seat. But RDPS tries to account for the buffs that jobs bring to the table. But what mm -hmm. about just raw individual damage? Oh, that's kind yeah, of interesting. But... Samurai does the most individual yeah. damage in the entire game. Crazy. You know, this isn't... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was looking at the buff damage this whole time. Something I also noticed is your damage meter in ACT is different when you upload it uh rdps and adps and ndps ndps is your damage with no raid buffs rdps is raid buffs okay it's a bad relationship between jobs that strictly do damage and jobs that provide buffs you see jobs that serve up buffs are then rewarded when jobs take those buffs and dish out more damage this is a symbiotic relationship and then I will still see some fucking mouth breather complaining that they do less individual damage as a ninja compared to a freestyle Sam. You know, it's almost like you make freestyle. the entire raid do 5% more damage every minute for 15 seconds. So of course ninja's personal damage has to be lower. They have to account for trick attack if you want to make the game relatively balanced. Of course, you know, poor Black Mage isn't the top individual DPS right now, which makes it so god-awful that you would never be able to clear the current Savage tier at all, let alone world fucking first. Yeah. If you played Both Samurai before Mage. because it was the top DPS in the meta game, I'm gonna tell you something, you're not a Samurai player, you're a meta player. Now go play <laughs> Reaper I or Monk and be player. happy. Oh, what's that? You don't like playing Reaper or Monk? Then play the job that you like to play. Is it but still I, good I enough to meet whatever DPS fun. check you want? Then who gives a shit? Oh, no, I know what it is. <laughs> okay, I came from Hearthstone. I had to always play the best deck to climb. 
And that's how I look at Final Fantasy XIV. I remember picking up Samurai because it's like, oh yeah, Samurai I hear is good. Especially at the beginning, I, I knew nothing of it. But then I kept at it because it's fun. And, but yeah, fun is just, it's different for everyone. Some people might not find Samurai fun. You want the job that you personally have the most fun playing to also simultaneously be the best job in the <laughs> metagame. Well, if we just take a look at how many jobs there are Fuck. and assume that you have an equal chance that He's any one of them could be your favorite, the odds of that happening are pretty fucking slim. Get used to it. Welcome to yeah. reality. But you know what? You're right. Samurai is a very, very hard job to play. Much harder than previous expansion because they added in a whole extra 1.3 second cast time every two minutes, which is one of the easiest things to oh, slide cast. This dude, he's a Sam main and he made this video to shit on some of the Sam players that are out there being like, which I did see, by the way. I did see that there's a lot of Samurai players out there complaining. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe they they know what the fuck they're talking about but yeah it seems like he made this video to be like shut the fuck up samurai's fine because yeah they complained they complained about the cast time for this right so i want to hear what he has cast to on the entire planet honestly why not just slap a samurai nerf so i can see some more people blow a gasket oh. it would be more interesting to me <laughs> no! and i would continue to play the fucking job but this goes back to what I said before. No, don't Every say single that. job is easy. Job loyalty is like brand loyalty. I don't understand. True. If you aren't enjoying a job and you think a different one is more fun, if only you could play the one that's more fun for you. Or if you want to play the but one that's more... But that ma make the game really fun that people are like, oh, I really love this class. Oh my god. Like the best ever. Like they're just very, very passionate. Like, yeah, as long as you don't become toxic about it, like you can really love and just be like, I am this class. Like, cause I feel like I will be samurai for a good while and I love it. And there's many other people who are like, I am a white mage main. And I love this class. And then there's other people like, I am a gunbreaker main and I love this class. There's just a lot of that. There's a lot of comparing going on. Even remember, even like the healer classes, they're always fighting each other. Who's the best healer? I'm the pure healer. And the DPSers, it's like, I'm the pure damage. You're the party buffer. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I, fi I find it funny. As long as you're not toxic about it. Meta, you can play the one that's more meta. Here's an image of the world before and after you change your main job in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> this next segment of the video no will different. lower how fun this is overall, but allow me to clarify. There's nothing wrong with giving feedback, but there is a weird pervasive mentality that I find in many gaming communities, and that's when someone makes a mistake while playing a game, instead of trying to play better, they just lash out at the game itself, even if oh, it's justified. Yeah. But if you have all this time and energy to constantly bitch and moan about something, you have the time and energy to get better at it. I did True. my triple weave back in the day because that's what I had to do to make it work. And I even proceeded to stand still during my instant cast phase because I wanted Phoenix to do what it was supposed to do. What I noticed with Final Fantasy XIV especially is that because they listen to the player base so much, it's all about doing whatever they can to lower the amount of negative comments they receive on the forum. It's why they would rather buff every other job in the game rather than just ever so slightly toning down Reaper's damage. I am not going to say that that's the wrong approach, but I wonder if the motivations behind it come from a place of fear that people are going to complain when you literally cannot they, please yeah, everyone. Yeah, there were there when was people, people complaining, like the this one latest article, right? Yoshi was like telling people like, um, be nice, don't hate on the devs and stuff like that. And I know Zeppla talked about it, and other couple of content creators talked about. It. Yeah, I never want I never want to make videos where I'm just ever going to be toxic to yeah there was people like that in hearthstone too um when i did make that samurai video i thought that it would be fun i had to really i really find it fine it's not terrible and plus yeah, there's still like i feel like any job right now is playable just learn to play it better because your numbers will go up you just know and get comfortable with your job People see a job change like Tsubame Gaishi on Samurai and decide to quit the game because of something so insignificant, I cannot help but think that you're a massive baby. But I'm also a massive child because I've complained about job design in the past too, so how am I any different? So with all of this, I'm going to help you understand your own emotions like a very shitty therapist. <clears throat> 
If you don't like the way that a job feels, that means that you don't like how it feels on a personal level. It doesn't mm -hmm. automatically make the job fundamentally bad from a number or a gameplay True. standpoint. Of all the things to start shitting on the floor over, this is pretty petty. It's still important for the devs to know what the majority of players don't like, but it's still going to be a personal opinion at the end of the day. You are allowed to like previous expansion summoner, even though you're wrong. So anyways, put Blood Weapon on a charge <laughs> system, but leave Fight or Flight and No Mercy alone. But who knows, maybe we're going to have to make those accessible too. It's not like it's going to make the job play any different. Also, if you end up finding this game too easy to play, uh, here's my pipeline for you. Start beating all the hardest content in the game. Uh, once you do that, do it on every single job. Then start optimizing every single job with your spare time. And if it's still too easy, poo poo pee pee boring for you, maybe take a little break from the game and go touch some yeah. ass. I'm going to crawl back <laughs> into my cave yet again and close my eyes, reminding myself to never look at anything that anyone ever says about any game ever. I think part of me into why I made that samurai video was because I have been feeling a lot of people always like wanting a reaper, always wanting a reaper, always wanting a reaper, always wanting a reaper in their party. And it's like, oh, you're a Sam. Why couldn't you just be a reaper? You know? And like, it sucks. Like, can I play the class I like? Hello? Everyone, like, who's playing Final Fantasy XIV right now basically is a Reaper. It is the meta. I think it's fun. It's a fun class, but I just think, like, you shouldn't hold people back ever from playing stuff they like. Yeah. So that's that's all, the only reason why I felt like I would love for Sam, like, because I play Samurai, I would love Samurai to be where people could see Samurai on the same level as Reaper. Um, because it really feels like people don't see it on the same level as Reaper now. Like, people are like, you know, nah, Reaper and Monk, come on, let's go. Like, I feel like an outcast sometimes because I want to play this job. And I hope that people will let me play in the party, even though I'm Samurai. And not a Reaper. And not a Monk for melee. But yeah, people love their damage boast. Exactly. I know. I, I, it's like, that's why it's like, if people really love that. Doesn't that make you feel as a Samurai? Like, can you just like give us a little bit more damage so people can like be like, okay, well, damage of Samurai, good. Party buffs of Reaper, good. So they don't mind either or. <laughs> yeah, like I just want people to not mind. Get out there or and stop being a little bitch about micro difficulties <laughs> when it comes to playing a job at a moderate level. I get really excited though uh, when I'm watching his videos. I got excited that he's a Sam player. He, talk he talked about Samurai. I was like, oh my god, yay. Like every time I make Samurai friends, it's because I just want to relate with these people or like they could possibly teach me something I didn't know.